Good afternoon, Radner. Welcome to a very special edition of Overtime. This week, Luke and I will be looking at our brackets for this month's March Madness tournament. And behind us right now, we have Luke's bracket. Luke, you want to tell us about some of your picks? Yeah, so as you can see, I have Duke winning it all, and they, they defeat Tennessee in the championship round. Interesting. Got a lot of, like, got a lot of upsets up here. Anything uh, catching your eye? Yeah, I'd say the biggest upset is Auburn upsetting UNC. Yeah, what made you pick that one? I love that yeah, pick. Well, Auburn has proven they can like defeat dominant teams like Tennessee in the SEC tournament. Naturally, naturally. And you got Gonzaga over Michigan. You think Michigan doesn't have it? Yeah, they choked away the Big Ten tournament. They did. That was a bad loss to Ten Michigan State. Ten straight points to Michigan State. <laughs> Anything else you want to look at from your picks, Luke? Yeah, I like another pick I really like is Buffalo upsetting Texas Tech. There you go. And, and I like... The, the three seed Texas Tech going down to Buffalo. I like it. Yeah, and St. Hall upsets Wolford. Yeah, that is a big upset. I, I always love Seton Hall. I mean, I'm a Big East guy, and I always go with the Big East team. So I have Seton Hall going pretty far. And yeah, if, one of my personal favorite upsets is probably Murray State upsetting... Marquette, because they have a dominant point guard in Ja Morant. I've heard almost nothing about Murray State, so I'm excited to see if you're right. And he's supposed to be a big NBA prospect this year. All right. Well, there you have it for Luke Andros. Now, if we rotate the whiteboard, you'll see mine on the back. Okay, and so, as you can see, mine's pretty similar to Luke's, although a little bit different. Now, the key difference is that I have UVA winning the whole thing over Duke in the final game. And Any reason for that, Will? Well, I think after UVA's huge upset last year to UMBC, I think they will come back stronger than ever. I mean, this is a really good program, and I think that these guys are going to be hungry to win the tournament. Um, and just from what I've seen them play this year, Virginia's uh, a team that really can win this tournament, can make a deep run. Um, over here, as I mentioned earlier, I have Seton Hall upsetting Kentucky. Now, I feel like that should be a really fun game. And... Um, Another one of my favorite upsets is New Mexico State over Kansas, or New Mexico State over um, over Auburn. Should be a really fun game because Luke has Auburn going far. I have New Mexico State going far, so it'll be fun to see that play out. Uh, I have UNC going pretty far. If you look at my Final Four, I have faith in Duke, but I don't have faith in Duke to win the whole thing like Luke does. You have a response to that, Luke? Yeah. Well, I can see where you're going. Zion just got injured, but he's back. That's true. I mean, Luke and I watched the, uh, Duke, the Duke game the other week, and Zion Williamson is legit. I just don't know if he's going to be healthy enough to carry this team all the way through the tournament. I mean, they have a lot of tough competition down the road, but we shall see. Anything catch your eye, Luke? A little. Maybe this. Maybe that. You and I have, you and I have the same Buffalo upset. LSU upsetting. LSU getting upset by... Yale. I love picking the Ivy League teams. I think it is very fun when they get upsets. So yes, I'm always go I'm always going to go with Yale over LSU. I think. And with Oregon getting upset by Wisconsin. That is true. Uh, well, I pick Oregon upsetting Wisconsin. Um, I watched Oregon in the uh, the big tournament game, and I I like the way they play. I like the way they shoot. So I'm going to go with them over Wisconsin. And Will has UVA winning it all again, just like he mentioned. Yep. Luke has Duke, as you can see by his shirt. Big Zion fan. I am going with University of Virginia. Uh, unfortunately, Temple did not make it into the playing game. But um, that about does it for this week of overtime, Radner. Uh, we'll be stay, stay tuned with us for the next coming weeks, and we will be analyzing how our picks play out and uh, other things coming up. Anything else you want to talk about for the next week, Luke? Next Thank week, we'll be covering MLB opening day stats like awards and and predictions. That's right. Baseball is almost back, people, so stay tuned. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up this spring. All right. Until, until next time, I'm Will Dawson. And I'm Luke Connors. Thanks for watching this special presentation of Overtime.